Warning, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. In this video, we will cover the safety information and procedures for safe operation of the Optics handheld laser system. All users must review the owner's manual in its entirety and be fully trained before using the optic system. Warning, class four invisible laser radiation can permanently damage eyes and skin. Everyone present during laser operation must wear both Miller Optics laser welding helmet and laser safety eyewear certified for OD7 or greater at 1070 nanometers. Miller strongly recommends following ANSI Z136.1, which is the American national standard for safe use of lasers. OSHA requires having a trained laser safety officer. Responsibilities for the laser safety officer include establish and maintain safety policies, evaluate hazards in the laser work area, implementing and maintaining prescribed control measures, approve SOPs and procedures that may be part of procedural controls, recommend and approve protective equipment, and ensure personnel receive adequate safety education and training. Now, let's go over system safety with the Optics handheld laser system. The Optics system generates two laser beams, a low power guide beam that is visible for part alignment and a high power welding beam that is invisible. Be sure you and any individuals in the room are always wearing laser safety eyewear certified for OD7 or greater at 1070 nanometers when the system is turned on. Additionally, always make sure to use the Miller Carbon Fiber Laser Welding Helmet when welding. The optic system comes with a security key, which protects access to the machine. The optics can only be operated when the key is inserted and turned to the on position. The machine is also equipped with an emergency stop button. To turn the unit off immediately, press the button in. To turn the power back on, twist and pull the button out. Now, let's go over safety interlocks for the optic system. Optics comes with a 12-pin I.O. connector. This is installed at the rear of the unit with the supplied screws and is used to connect your interlock system. In this example, we have the system connected to a dual interlock system mounted on the door. When the door is closed and the laser torch trigger is depressed, the interlock light will illuminate. This indicates that the interlock is satisfied and it is safe to begin welding. If the door is opened during welding, the interlock light will turn off and the optics and gun will immediately power off. You will also see an error code appear in the laser power display window. To reset the laser, release the triggers on the welding laser torch. Ensure the door is closed and interlocks are connected. Press the gas trigger on the welding laser torch again to clear and reset the optic system. You are now able to resume welding. Another safety interlock on the optics is the part contact interlock. For the laser to fire, the welding torch nozzle must be in contact with the part. Once the welding head nozzle is in contact with the part, the green indicator light will begin to blink. This indicates that the optics is ready to begin welding. The optics laser torch is equipped with a two position trigger. Position one satisfies the operator's safety interlock and turns on the flow of gas. The indicator on top of the gun will glow green, then change to flashing when the gas free flow is complete and the laser is ready to fire. You will notice that the gas indicator light on the front panel of the system will also illuminate when there is sufficient gas flow. While holding the position one trigger down, depress position two trigger to turn the laser beam on. Finally, let's discuss the personal protective equipment needed when using the optics laser system. The operator and any spectators in the welding area must wear full protective equipment when the laser is operating. These include laser safety eyewear certified for OD7 or greater at 1070 nanometers, laser welding helmet, jacket, apron, or other skin protection, and welding gloves. In summary, the Optic system has many safety features built in to protect the operator. Key switch enabled, fiber delivery interlock, 
dual door switch interlocks, nozzle contact sensor, and two position laser triggers. Always refer to the owner's manual for detailed safety guidance. This concludes getting started with the Optics handheld laser system. Please watch our other videos for additional operating instructions and laser welding tips.